Coming up on The Shield, participants froze for a cause at this weekend's Polar Plunge. And students enjoyed last week's winter week activities. After all of that snow that we've seen the past couple of days, we're finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But stay tuned to my full five-day forecast and I'll let you know if we have any more snow in the near future. The Athletics Recreation Center and Fitness Center are working on beefing up security. I'm Justin thompson -Gee. And I'm Lauren Whitney Gottbrath. That story is first here on The Shield. Both the ARC and the Fitness Center are taking a second look at security after a couple of incidents in recent weeks. The new policy was put into effect at the Athletic Recreation Center where students have to show their ID before entering the building. The main reason for doing so was because without the new system, anyone could enter the building without being seen. Additionally, the Athletics Recreation Center is only free to students and staff of Valparaiso University, and the public can purchase passes to use the facility during the week or on the weekend. The fitness center is dealing with a more serious issue after a theft occurred. VU TV was told by employees of the fitness center that someone entered through the back door of the facility, went into the locker room, and took a wallet and iPod before leaving. VU PD was able to identify the man from the security cameras and are currently looking for the suspect. But the facility will be undergoing some changes, such as locking the back door 24 hours a day. The waters were freezing Saturday morning for Valpo's first toasted polar plunge. For more, we go to VU TV's Mandy Rothton. On Saturday morning, students and faculty were up bright and early to participate in the polar plunge held at the Athletics Recreation Center. Participants raised $75 for adults and children with intellectual disabilities and took the plunge early in the morning to 30 degree temperatures. Several businesses on and off campus dove and cannonballed in, as well as several sororities, fraternities, and individuals looking to help a good cause. Other than taking the plunge, the event featured awards for the best costume, most money raised by an individual, and most money raised by a team. The VU PD worked hard to put up the event, especially because this was the first Year, the Valparaiso University campus was offered as a polar plunge site. And I see it as a great opportunity to, to bring something to our community, to our students, where we can have fun, act a little crazy, and, and, and take care of a good cause. All proceeds went to benefiting the Special Olympics athletes in the community to help them train locally and to compete. For The Shield, I'm Mandy Rathjen. Thanks, Mandy. If you didn't get a chance to participate in this year's Polar Plunge, you can still go to Joe's Crab Shack in Maribel, and 10% of your purchase will go to Special Olympics. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have more local news and sports and a look at the rest of the week's weather.